Greetings, folks. Ruprecht here with RecordingView.com, and today I want to talk about a feature within Isotope Ozone 5 called EQ Matching. And basically what this does is it analyzes two separate chunks of audio, and you can match the EQ uh, from one to the other. And it's a really useful tool for trying to analyze what you're doing wrong in your mixes to uh, something else that you may prefer. So I've got a mix here that I did a couple months ago. Not very great, did it real fast, and I'm trying to analyze it to see what I did wrong in comparison to another mix that uh, I find especially brutal. So here we go. This is the one that I did. I have a little listen. Okay, so nothing to ride home about. And now we'll listen to this August Burns Red track. Okay, so everything about that sounds like more mean and awesome. So first thing we have to do, we go to our little snapshots tab. You have to be within the, the EQ module. And what you're going to do is take a snapshot of this. That's what Ozone calls it. It's basically just analyzing the audio and all the frequency curves and everything. So there's a couple different options here, uh, basically just having to do with how long the snapshot lasts. And I usually just keep it on infinite and just kind of control it manually. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to play it just for a second and then uh, start the capture. Okay, so first thing I want to do here after I've got it is name it so I don't forget what it is. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color. Now we'll go with white. All right, now I want to do the exact same thing with the August Burns Red track. Okay, so I've got that, and now we can see that it's analyzed both of them. My mix is the yellow line, or the white line, excuse me. Their mix is the yellow line. So there's obviously some differences. It seems like everywhere I'm cutting, they are boosting, so go figure. Uh, <laughs> you can really tell up here, 15K, they've got basically nothing, and I'm still just kind of sloping off. Of course, a bunch of mixes do that, so I'm not too concerned about that more with the, the low end and kind of this upper mid-range stuff um, okay so I've got both of those captured and now what you want to do is go over here to the matching section and this is where you have to do your route routing excuse me to designate which audio you're matching from and applying it to now it's fairly unintuitive you would think that match from would be uh, analyzing the audio clip that has the desired EQ and then apply two would be putting that EQ on the uh, other audio clip that you're not too happy with. It's actually reversed that. So I'm matching from uh, the mix I did and applying it to the August Burns Red track. And I don't know why they label it like that. That's just how it works. Um, then you click match and it generates this curve. Now at first it's not very extreme. As you mess with the amount though, that controls how much it is boosting and cutting to try and get closer. It also has uh, the smooth feature, which all the way to the left is completely rigid and peaky. And that's like just really trying to get exactly what it had. I don't really recommend that. It doesn't sound very natural. Um, I usually keep it about right here. Yeah, boost and cut just a little bit more. Now I'll go ahead and go back to what I had and let you hear how this works. So this is Ozone 5 bypassed, and then I'll let it play for a second and then unbypass it so you can hear the difference. Of 
quite a difference. Now, I don't recommend using this on, on the 2-Bus to try and just magically fix your mix. Um, I would recommend kind of analyzing uh, a whole mix from someone else and then going back on a track-by-track -track basis and trying to, to get as close as you can that way. If you get into the business of just completely annihilating your 2-Bus, it's just not a good habit to get into, and uh, the, the results are going to be much better if you go on a track-by-track -track basis. So... Alright guys, uh, Ozone 5 owners, if you haven't stumbled upon this feature yet, give it a try. It's a really good way to kind of analyze what you're doing and give you a visual aid, and uh, as well as uh, aid in hearing what you're doing wrong by adjusting the amount and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Ruprecht out. Blah!